guys, welcome to today's vlog. We're back at the apartment. The time is 9.46 a.m. on a Saturday. Happy Saturday. And we're actually coming back to do some laundry because we don't have a washer and dryer yet, which, yeah, is gonna be an issue. Um, but we have the apartment lease through the end of September, so we had to pay our mortgage and an apartment lease in the same month. It was really fun. I don't recommend, but yeah, we weren't able to get a washer and dryer yet, so we have to come here and do laundry. So I'm um, loading this up real quick and then we're trying to make it to Chick-fil-A by 10.30. Wish us luck. best breakfast at Chick-fil-A. We met the sweetest group of little old men that were so cute. They come every Saturday. There's like a certain group of them that are always here and we see them all the time but we've never talked to them before and I went to the bathroom and when I came back Lad was talking to one of them and they were so sweet. They were all I think war veterans they said and one of them was a big Alabama fan. His best friend went to Ole Miss so we were talking about that and um, then another one of their friends came in and he turned out to be a preacher. They were just so sweet. So that like made us feel so good. So if you ever get the chance to talk to someone older, make sure you take the time to do it because- Thank a veteran. Thank a veteran. Thank a veteran for real. We thank them for their service. Um, he said he was in the Navy and uh, we were talking about that a little bit but it really does make a difference i was telling lad i wish that my grandfather were still around because i was in college when he passed away and i don't know i just wish i had like sat with him more and talked to him about being in the air force he was in the air force so i wish i had like asked him more about his stories and stuff like that so yeah just think a veteran talk to a veteran if you can and <laughs> i was gonna <laughs> the reason that she's crying <laughs> I'm, I'm crying, not because of the sweet old men, even though I probably could cry thinking about them. They were so cute. Whenever, <laughs> I'm gonna get tickled. <laughs> Whenever I got up from the table to get out and leave Chick-fil-A, I hit my knee so hard. Smacked it, like, just. So hard on the edge of the table. And I just kind of sat there and Lad starts going. Ah. And I, then I was like. Mm. <laughs> like you don't know whether to scream you don't know whether to cry and I just got so tickled anyway if you've seen Family Guy you know I'm forced against my will to watch Family Guy more than more than I should she likes it more than she's willing to admit to. <laughs> <laughs> okay some parts of it are really funny <laughs> other parts are just stupid but now that I don't live with two boys and I just live with one boy I'll wait till we have boys no, that's not up for discussion. My knee still hurts anyways. Bye. Can y'all see my knee? See all them hairs on them legs. Woo. I just shaved. <laughs> oh my God, it hurts. Wow, look at my, I'm like two different colors. They can. They can, but they don't like exist purely on a mission to kill you. What does my hair look like this? Guys, I put on my Instagram yesterday, I was trying to train my bangs to do more of like a curtain bang thing. <laughs> and the way that I did it, I literally looked like this dog and I could not stop laughing. I was like, okay, we're done with that. I don't like this hairstyle on me. Um, also, I cannot pull off a middle part at all. So we're not gonna do that again. Saying goodbye to the apartment. It's been great. The boys have been here for three years. I just moved in last year. Yes, sir. So yeah, our roommates moved into a different apartment and we bought the house. So the end of an era, but we're excited about the house. I'll give you guys some updates 
Um, we get back to the house. We're, I think, heading back to the house after we get done here. Maybe running a couple errands. We have to wait on this laundry to finish, but I'll show you the house when we get back. Okay, you guys, I wanted to share something really exciting. I have a box that I'm really excited to tell you about. We just got home from Franklin. We went shopping for some furniture and stuff. So we just got back home and I have happily poured myself a glass of wine. We have an unboxing to do and I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's begin. This is really exciting because this is my very first like official unboxing. Um, I do wanna say this video is not sponsored. Um, I'm not making any money off of this video or anything like that, but I partnered up with Caldwell's Boutique. It's a very small boutique in Wynn, Arkansas. They have several locations. Um, they have a different one in Memphis as well. And yeah, they reached out to me and asked if they could send me some stuff and wanted me to check out some of their clothing. Um, honestly, this is gonna be like a surprise for both of us. So I don't really know what's in here. That's why I wanted to um, open it and share it with you guys. I am definitely ready for fall weather. It is still probably, oh my God, this is scary. So yeah, it's still probably like 90 degrees almost here in Nashville, really hot. But I must say, it's like whenever you take the very last, you know, beach trip or vacation or whatever of summer, at least for me, whenever that's over, I'm like ready for fall. So. I know that Caldwell's Boutique has a lot of really cute fall stuff. I was looking on their site recently and yeah, I'm really excited to see what's in here, but I know they have lots of cute stuff. I also know that they're really popular around Christmas time. They have lots of really nice Christmas decorations and things. So let's see. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm a small YouTuber, obviously, but this is like what I want to do. I want to do like affiliate marketing and like brand partnerships and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just like so excited. Okay, let's get into it without further ado. Um, looks like I got a little Preen Love bag. I'm sure you guys have seen the Preen Love bags there. Um, really popular little neoprene um, tote bags. They have purses, makeup bags. This one is freaking adorable let's see if i can see i don't know exactly what this one is called but um this is kind of like a little makeup bag little toiletries bag oh my god i'm obsessed with it that's so cute love that Ooh. oh my gosh oh my god these are so cute we have some earrings. I'm trying to be a good YouTuber with the lighting. These are some really cute black and gold earrings. It's got like a leather detail with some gold. I hope you can see that okay, but they're black leather and gold earrings. Those are adorable. And this super cute koozie that says yeehaw. I love that, very appropriate for Nashville and a cute little dish towel for fall. I absolutely love that. That's gonna be going in my kitchen. This is like super appropriate with the new house and stuff. I have so many pieces that I still need to get for the house, so that will be perfect. Ooh. Wait. Oh my God, what is this? <gasps> Wait. Oh, I am shook. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So this is a buddy love dress. It looks like this is a little kind of slip dress. I did see this online and I like secretly really, really wanted this. It was so cute and I was obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It's kind of like a, I don't know, cow print, animal print. Um, with a little spaghetti strap top and then in the back it crisscrosses Wow Wow, you guys. Oh my gosh. Can y'all imagine this with cowboy boots? 
How cute would this be with cowboy boots? Oh my gosh, I love this. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I cannot wait to try that on. That's gonna be so exciting. I feel like I'm gonna say so exciting in this <laughs> unboxing like way too many times. Oh my God, this is heavy. This is for Lad. Oh my God, he's gonna be so excited. Okay, I'm gonna like save this and let him open this because I, I think that's for him. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet, you guys. Thank you, Caldwell's, that was so sweet. Also, how ironic is it that the boutique is called Caldwell's and that's Lad's last name and hopefully my future <laughs> last name. I think that's cute. So I'm gonna take that downstairs in just a second, let him open that. I think he'll be excited. Also, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can show that on camera. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, this is obviously for him as well. I'm gonna let him open this. This feels like Christmas. Like, oh my gosh, I actually wanna be like a real YouTuber and like a real influencer or whatever because this legit feels like Christmas. I love this. Yes, Tyler Candles, you guys, if you know, you know. Tyler Candles, this is platinum, the platinum scent. Wow, oh my gosh, that just smells like, it smells like your house would smell after you did a fresh load of laundry. That's what this smells like, like your house is clean. You are put together. You have your life together. That's what this is. This is amazing. I cannot wait to burn that. We'll probably light that tonight. Ooh. Okay, we have some hand soap. This is from the brand Linden and London Body Hand Soap Sustainably Sourced. Uh, this is number five in Big Sur, which is citrus, floral, cedar, and amber. Let's see. Wow. Okay, that literally just transported me somewhere. Where did that take me just then? I... No, stop. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. So, I'm 28. Maybe you're around the same age, but bear with me, okay? If you guys remember, I think this was really, really popular, like in my childhood. So think with me, if you will. When I was little and growing up, my mom was obsessed with this perfume. I can literally see the bottle and I want to say it was actually called Moon and Stars perfume, I think. It was a, a round bottle, a really dark blue bottle with like stars embellished on it. And I think it had a gold cap on it. And it smelled so wonderful, like a little bit sweet, but that's like the scent that I remember, like I associate that with my mom from my childhood. And if I remember correctly, I think that the same perfume had these little like gel bead things that you put in a bath maybe and it was like a bath fragrance i don't know if i'm making any sense anyway that's exactly what this smells like this is actually this is taking me back to my childhood and i bet you anything if my mom smelled this she would be like wow that's actually spot on oh my gosh you guys if you don't know what i'm talking about you need to get this it's wonderful it's the brand linden in london Hope you can see that. This smells incredible. I'm probably gonna put this in a guest bathroom, so that is absolutely perfect. So yeah, again, I wanna say thank you to Caldwell's Boutique. I'm so excited about all the stuff. This was like so nice. I'm so grateful. Literally, this is like the first time I've ever experienced this, like a brand sending me something. So yeah, I encourage you guys, if you're watching this video, go check them out. You can go to their website at shopcaldwells.com. Um, again, they're a small boutique located in Wynn, Arkansas. They actually opened their store and like started their store about 30 years ago. 
um, and it initially started as like a pharmacy, kind of one of those like hometown places, but then it expanded into a boutique with some clothes and a few little items. And actually when COVID happened, they you know, obviously stopped getting some business in store. So they expanded to their website, which is where you can shop all of their stuff now. So they've really put a lot of effort the past couple of years into growing their website and expanding like all of their items. Literally there's like new stuff every single day that comes on there. I was shopping the uh, like day before yesterday and they have the cutest fall clothes. They've got some like Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas decor, um, all kinds of stuff like this. So if you're looking for literally anything like this would be a great housewarming gift this would be a great like all your kid or your sister or your friend goes off to college get them like a cute little dress or something to wear like for football games maybe so yeah they literally have everything you could ever imagine please go shop them i'll leave the link in the description below it's just shopcaldwells.com and yeah thank you again you guys i'm so excited and you will definitely see me with all of these items i'm gonna try to do a little instagram refresh here coming soon especially with fall and like the new season approaching so you will be seeing all of this stuff thank you again call the well so appreciative okay i hope you guys enjoyed that haul oh my gosh i'm obsessed with like all the stuff i cannot wait i'm gonna try to maybe style the dress tomorrow and maybe get a few instagram pics so um i want to take this stuff downstairs to lad and let him open this Oop, lighting. I want to get his reaction to opening this stuff. So let's go downstairs. Hi. Hello. Hi. So I just opened my box from Caldwell's and you have a couple goodies in Ooh, here. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Do you want to open them? Shoot, sure, yeah. Sure. I didn't know it was for you. A big ass brick of soap. Cute. You need some soap, you stink. Whiskey footballs, what is this? Oh, that's cool. They're like literally steel footballs. Like ice yeah. for your drinks. Ooh, that's super cool. Yeah, isn't that sweet? No wonder this place is named after me. They're just cool. I know. Hand cleanse, so you'll make me take this everywhere? Yes, hand sanitizer. Ah, something with balls. <laughs> Nice balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Isn't that so cute? Awesome. Thank you, Caldwell. Yeah, so There's... they were thinking of you as well. I got some really cute stuff, so they wanted to send you some stuff to you. Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. So with that, that concludes the Caldwell's unboxing. I think that was so sweet that they sent Lad some stuff to you. They know that occasionally he's part of the vlogs. He makes the vlogs interesting. I make them better. I did not say that. Better. This is my channel. You are a guest. Guest appearance. Ooh. First of all, that is a deal. This is massive. Um, it also smells Ooh. like... Good. What does that smell like? It's a little bit like oaky, oak. It says midnight swim, so I'm going to assume something around water. I don't know how to describe this. It's very... Very manly, very manly, like a cologne. Wow, that's American like... American-made soap inspired by the, by the invigorating adventure of a midnight swim. All right, so if y'all go swimming in the ocean at midnight, I guess that's what that smells like. I wouldn't know. I don't swim in the ocean at all, much less at midnight. I thought you said it was the ocean. No, I didn't. Oh. Talk about not listening. That was not one word that came out of my mouth about the ocean. I said a, a midnight swim. You guys, I had to show you this dress. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. It fits perfectly. I have a size medium. This is definitely like a little slip dress. It's not too form fitting, like there's still some room, um, but it definitely hugs nicely. I love the way it sits. Also, LOL at my boots because these are new and they're squeaking because they're not broken in yet. So please ignore. The straps I discovered are I'm sure you can't tell, but the straps in the back are actually adjustable, which is great. Like we love an option with a dress where it's not like you fit the dress, but more the dress fits you. So we love that. Yeah, and honestly, I'm actually really into 
kind of like taking more feminine pieces and putting something more like edgy a little bit with it to kind of tone down the feminine. If you know me, I'm not very much of like a pink girl or I don't know, like I guess like a girly girl. I'm more into whatever, <laughs> literally 80s hair bands and classic rock, okay? If that explains me, you get it, okay? So I'm not very much a girly girl. I'm not a tomboy, I've, I like fashion a lot. But yeah, this is absolutely something I would wear, just taking kind of a cute, like date night feminine dress and then putting something really interesting with it and kind of like making it a little bit more edgy. You could also wear like cowboy boots with this. And I actually found a jacket that might be really cute. So hold on. So my friend Courtney got me this jacket. <laughs> She's also the one in my Dustin vlog that recommended that I get the traveler dress as well. So Courtney is constantly influencing me. I keep telling her to write a blog, but she won't. So Courtney, if you're listening, you should come up with a blog or be an influencer because your style is really cute. Anyways, um, she got me this jacket a long time ago, actually, but I mean, it literally fits me perfectly. This is my style. It's a little bit edgy. This is more of like kind of a shacket thing. It's not really a jacket, so you could throw it on top of almost anything. It's actually really cute with this dress because it dresses it down a little bit, especially like if you're going out or something that's a little bit cold wherever you are. I think this is really cute. You could also do like a leather jacket with it. I think that would be cute and it would go with the boots. Hope I didn't do too bad of a job as um, a try on haul. I don't really know what that was to be honest. I was just really excited to try this dress on so I had to show you. I love it so much. Anyway, I wanted y'all to see that on so you could tell kind of how it fits and everything. I am 5'5 five five, and I would say a medium build like in my jeans and like bottoms I always are like a probably actually more on a large side than a medium. Um, but again, this is a size medium and it fits me really great. So I'm really excited, but I have a discount code for you guys if you wanna use it. Just again, to clarify, I'm not making any money off of this code. It's just Caldwell's Boutique partnering with me and they're wanting to expand their website and get their marketing out and everything. So if you use the code CHELS15, I'll put it right here you can get 15% off of anything that you purchase on their site, which is awesome because they're just now starting to replace like some of their summer stuff. A bunch of fall stuff is coming out, which is so exciting. If you're like me, I'm trying to kind of piece by piece, like switch out my wardrobe and get into like the fall mindset, which I'm so excited for. I love fall, it's my favorite. So if you're needing anything, definitely go check it out. Again, it's shopcaldwells.com. I'll have it in the link in the description below. Hope y'all find some good stuff. If you do, make sure you share it with me. I'm so excited to see like what everybody else buys. So yeah, go check it out. Thank you again, Caldwells. So I promised you guys some updates on the house. Really not a whole lot to update, but we got our bedroom furniture set up. I have a rug that's ordered. It was supposed to be here on Thursday. It's Saturday. And of course, much like usual FedEx business, it was like, oh, um, expected delivery date Thursday. And then suddenly it disappeared and wasn't here on Thursday. And now it says like, oh, no scheduled delivery day. Like we'll update you when we have more info. And I'm like, so like, what does that even mean? So per usual FedEx, it ships, it gets lost in translation. And then all of a sudden it shows up at your door. That's probably what's gonna happen with this rug. Yeah, no huge updates, just our bedroom. We have to get something on the wall up there eventually. Bathroom, there's really not a whole lot to show y'all. Closet is a mess. I still have to kind of organize and like make sense of the closet. Everything's just kind of thrown together. Yeah, I don't know. I probably need to do like a vlog on this soon just to kind of organize and get my life together in here, so. That'll probably be a video coming soon. Anyways, and that's all the updates I have for now. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch some college football. I'm not even sure who's playing right now, but Ole Miss plays on Monday. Fingers crossed that we don't embarrass ourselves <laughs> per usual. I know this will be out like after Ole Miss plays, so I hope we do good. We'll see Ole Miss, you never know. So I'll go ahead and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for spending the Saturday with us. It was really nice and peaceful and relaxing today. Hope you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Do something good for a veteran this weekend. Thank you guys for your service if you have served. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy your weekend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.